Ever pondered how humanity leaped from the Dark Ages to the Renaissance? Who provided the missing link? Let's take a journey back to a time when Europe was shrouded in a millennium of stagnation, a period known as the Dark Ages, stretching from the 5th century after Christ until the Renaissance in the 18th century. But as Europe languished in the shadows, a new light was kindling in the East. The advent of Islam in 610 AC marked the birth of the Islamic civilization, a beacon of progress that would shine brightly for centuries. This period of Islamic history, particularly the golden era from the 7th to the 15th century, was a time of incredible accomplishment. Muslim scientists and intellectuals were the torchbearers of this era, making astonishing strides in medicine, chemistry, algebra, and more. Their contributions were so profound, they led Europe out of the Dark Ages and into an era of enlightenment, sparking the Renaissance. The magnitude of these contributions is beautifully showcased in the 1001 Inventions Exhibition, initiated in 2008 in the United Kingdom in partnership with the Foundation of Science, Technology and Civilization. This exhibition has traveled the globe, illuminating the remarkable contributions of Islamic civilization. Yet for all its brilliance, this golden era remains largely in the shadows. Western historians often overlook this period and the contributions of the Islamic world are frequently reduced to footnotes. The narrative that Europe's greatness stems from Greco-Roman roots and miraculously reawakened after a thousand year slumber is much more prevalent. If the Muslim world is mentioned at all, it's often merely as the preservers of Greek philosophical heritage rather than as a force of innovation and progress in their own right. But let's change that narrative. Let's celebrate the courage of writers like Michael Morgan of National Geographic, who dare to tell the true story of Muslim accomplishments in his book, Lost History, The Enduring Legacy of Muslim Scientists, Thinkers and Artists. Yet, this remarkable era of Islamic history is often overlooked, its contributions unacknowledged. Let's shed some light on this lost history. Um, have you ever wondered where the concept of hygiene came from or who invented the water pump? These may seem like simple questions, but the answers lead us back to a time when Islamic civilization was at the forefront of scientific and cultural advancements. During the Golden Age of Islam, hygiene and cleanliness were not just personal practices, but a religious obligation. Muslims were required to perform ablutions before their five daily prayers, instilling a routine of cleanliness that was uncommon in many parts of the world at the time. Even the concept of deodorants and improved detergents for washing clothes can be traced back to an Andalusian named Abu al-Hasan Ali ibn Nafi. His inventions revolutionized personal hygiene, transforming it from a luxury to a standard practice. But the Islamic civilization's contributions extend beyond hygiene. They also made significant advancements in technology. The Persian wheel and the water pump, both invented during the golden age of Islam, revolutionized agriculture and water management. The Persian wheel, a water lifting device, was used to draw water from wells or rivers making irrigation more efficient and accessible. The water pump, on the other hand, allowed for the easy transportation of water, not only for irrigation, but also for domestic use. These inventions laid the foundation for modern irrigation and water management systems, playing a key role in agricultural development worldwide. These achievements, however, are not isolated instances of brilliance. They are part of a larger narrative that paints a picture of a vibrant, dynamic civilization that was a beacon of knowledge and innovation. A civilization that not only preserved and built upon the intellectual heritage of the ancient world, but also charted new paths in various fields from astronomy to medicine, from philosophy to arts. These are just a few examples of the countless contributions of Islamic civilization. They are not mere footnotes in history, but rather, they form an integral part of our modern world.